How many fled in those pogroms? Yeah, to the United States. That's uh, why there's 7.4 million Jewish Americans, yeah. more than in Israel. So and they don't have, have a vote. And yet Israel speaks in our name. Why? Israel speaks in my name. Please, let's go. I don't want to continue this conversation. No big problem. Uh, you know, we don't have to argue. <laughs> Not in our name, no to genocide. Shut up. Shut up. I have a right to speak. You are, you are, yeah. I'm Jewish, even. We are too. So, I have a right to speak, just like you do, right? <laughs> Still here? I'm still here because I'm going into the hospital for an operation on my knee tomorrow. I won't be here next week. Convalescence, six weeks. A bunch of us uh, Palestine supporters came today, but there was no fighting with the Zionists. It was okay. It goes on and on. This is crazy. It should not be. <laughs> you going to the hostages demonstration? I hear that the hostage ne negotiations are not going to work. Yeah, but let, let I tell you something. Let I tell you something. You think, you think this is right? You think it's right? this is right? But to hold the hostages? If, listen, if, if, they, if they want to make a peace, make the move. Hold the hostages, elect people. Honestly, honestly, no? They've made a counter proposal. They've offered to end the war in uh, 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 45 days and release all the hostages. But Israel has not agreed because they want to continue the war. But, you know, fundamental difference. I don't think so. They want, they're losing so much innocent people. Yes, but they're willing to sacrifice those soldiers and even the hostages, 31 have been killed. It's, even one people is, is too much. It's, it's going to go on. I, I don't see how it's going to end. And, and after when is a million people die, and after make a peace, you think this right? This is not right either. No, there's no, there's no right. <laughs> yeah, but right now, you know, there's Israelis are going and stopping the aid from going into Gaza at the Rafah crossing. They're blocking the aid trucks that were ordered by the Security Council. This is my friend Andrew. He's also uh, he's a hi, hi, he's hi. a Holocaust survivor, oh, first hi. generation. Hi. Nice he you. was seven years old during the Holocaust. Okay. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you, sir. You know, I tell you, I know that the people being killed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even the people killed. Yes. Both sides. Absolutely. So why they don't have some bullshit to get together? Of negotiations? Absolutely. I think that negotiations is the way forward. I 100% agree, sir. So I'm just going to let people get past. So how come I didn't get to speak? We, we barely had any speakers. How? Yeah. Like, That's what I mean. How come speakers? I didn't get to speak? How come anyone didn't speak? So why not? I don't, I've don't. i been here every Sunday for four months, and I don't get to speak. Fine. What do, what do you mean, don't get to? I don't understand. You did not. You have the machine here. You didn't no, come no, over sorry, to let me speak. Music, they were playing music. So what? Music. You could have come know, over here. I didn't even know you wanted That's, to You have no respect for me. I've been here four months. Excuse me. I, See this. Okay, now. And you get the operation? Tomorrow. Where? Uh, not Kadam. On, on uh, Dorcas. On, on Sherbrooke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah. But if Hamas released all the hostages, would that stop? Let, let me park because maybe. Okay, I just park here. I am at a block. Okay, it blocks the. Uh, further over here. Okay, now the pedestrians can pass. Okay. Hamas is figuring that if they released all the hostages, the war would still go on. It wouldn't stop. So how can they sort of, you know, like, you know, it's an impossible situation for them. But for Israel, they could stop. Unless their objective is not just to stop Hamas, but to get rid of the Palestinians in one way or another. Listen, me, I don't. Me, I feel sorry for the Palestinian as much, and I feel sorry for the Israeli because these people they dying for innocent people. Nothing. They are innocent people. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. You don't don't have to be. Yeah. You don't have to be. Yeah. You know. Oh my. Okay. It's the U and I. I think they want to pass here. Where on the plateau are you going? Okay. I oh. wish you all the best. Yes. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. No problem. I mean, yeah. So. This religious thing. You know yourself. You think like, damn, like, no kosher. You know, I tell you because every children to die. Oh yeah. So many children, more than 10,000 now. Through and I see, and even if I am not there, yeah. I see so many poor people. Now it's going to get uh, much more serious with disease and famine. This is incredible. I'm very worried now. It makes me sick. Yeah, 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 sure. Listen, you and I, if we negotiate for both sides, we make a peace. Sure. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. The problem is the fanatics. Yeah. Man, Manimetok is a Xanish kind fanatic. Yeah. This is it. Because you went to the Holocaust, you think your parents is the Holocaust survivor. Yeah. And you know lots of things. You know more than anybody who was here. Oh my, okay. Are you going in? I, I, I just go. I just say hello to my friend. Very good. Yes, so you that was a good talk I had with Andrew. Yeah, and yeah. They, uh, he so says, if we negotiated, we could solve the problem. Absolutely. I yeah, think you guys could definitely talk. About but that. the uh, the three ministers in the war cabinet, Netanyahu, Smotrich, you know, Ben Giver, Gallant, isn't it Gallant? And Gallant, yeah, yeah, yeah those four, yeah, they're the problem. Absolutely. But yeah, uh, I guess you guys, uh, you and uh, Scott, don't really get along, or. Scott expelled me from a movement that I founded. No kidding, how come? Because I was criticizing him for using the Holocaust word when it wasn't the Holocaust. Oh, okay. And he didn't care. I see. You know, they were tumbling into one anti-Semitic trope after another. I see. With, you know, they were ignorant, basically. They didn't know how to build... They had not been involved in this right. movement before, you know. Like, yeah. when I came to Montreal, there was no opposition. Mm. Oh my! Yeah, so you know he has no we, respect, so I don't talk that's with him. That's too bad. I hope you. I mean, that's. Too, that's. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But I do think it was a good turnout today. Yeah. Yeah. Especially very. The young lady and also the, the Zionists felt.